Hello, welcome to my next Star Wars action figure review. Again, I'll be showing you a figure from the Legacy Collection, Wave 6. And that is this guy, as you can see here, Darth Maul. The ever evil, menacing villain from Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Looking really cool. Now this version, I believe, was taken from an, an, Im an image from uh, a comic book that was done that's, I believe, supposed to take place before The Phantom Menace. But here, we'll give you a look at the packaging. Okay. Legacy Collection. That in black. Artwork. Flip it over. Here you have a nice shot. The figure on the back. Here you have the other figures in the wave. Really cool still from the film there. Nice action pose there. And a little bit on the back. Uh, the Sith Apprentice of Darth Sidious, Darth Maul's skill and ferocity are matched only by his fervent dedication to the way of the Sith. His entire body is covered with intricate Sith tattoos in order to demonstrate his devotion to the dark side as well as his terrify his opponents. Uh, okay, now, go over the articulation. You have a ball-jointed head, ball-jointed shoulders, swivel forearms, ball-hinged elbows, swivel waist, a ball-hinged torso. You have swivel hips, uh, ball-hinged knees, and uh, hinged feet. Uh, another great feature is the the comma, a cloth comma, as you can see, which again is always a great feature. No shirt, of course, to show off the tattoos. They yeah, really did a bang up job on the details. I'll flip them over. See the back and his horns, just really, really did a great job. Uh, of course, he has his trademark double-bladed lightsaber. Uh, now, you notice in the articulation, no articulation in the wrists. Which, for this figure, I think is good. Sometimes you can overdo it with articulation and, and almost ruin a figure. Too much articulation is uh, not always a good thing. Uh, I think it works in this case. And you have here the... The droid part, there's a leg here, the droid, which, let's see, what is, let's see, L8, L9, that's the droid you can make if you collected all the figures from this wave, that's the leg. Uh, now, in general, one big drawback, I think, is this other hand here, the way it's molded, it's very tight. It's very closed grip. And he can't really grip the lightsaber with that other hand. Only in the one hand. And it, it makes it tough to do a pose where it looks like he's holding the saber with both hands. It's it's really can't he really can't grip it. So that's the one big drawback. But in general an awesome figure. You know, anything Darth, Darth Maul was such a cool creation, such an awesome look. Anything with him, I think, I think will work. So this, this figure really worth it. Really recommend picking it up. You know, if, especially if you're a Darth Maul fan, if you're a Sith fan. You know, maybe a must-have for your, for your collection. Look at the packaging once again. So there you have it. That's my review of the Darth Maul figure from the Legacy Collection, Wave 6. I'd recommend it highly. And uh, I should be back soon with more videos, hopefully. Until then, remember, the Force will be with you. Always.